Next up, I want to uh, quickly announce um, Fernando Suarez del Solar is actually going to be speaking. Um, he is one of the most important um, and moving anti-war speakers and activists in this country. So, Fernando, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am very happy to see a lot of, a lot of friends face. Medea, Norman, Fran, Pat, Raquel, etc., etc. It's a lot of names. September 11, 2001 changed my life for bad. September 11 put in my meeting in the morning when I see the TV destroyer my life. My son is in the bull camp. When I see the the TV, I say, oh my God, the war is coming and my son is possible involvement. But I think so, no, it's 2001, my son is three, four months in the bull camp. It's impossible to send him to Afghanistan. And it's true. The war began against the Afghanistan, 2001, 2002. I am happy my son is here. But the criminal Bush say weapon is in Iraq. We need attack Iraq and send my son. And my son died in this stupid war because the one president looking for revenge, looking for power and changed my life. And thank you, Medea. Thank you, Pat, Norman, and Frank. I begin involved in the peace movement. And I begin go and visit the high school in, around the world, not only the United States. And I try to explain to young people what's happening there September 11 is not the reason for destroying the other life. It's not the reason for go to the army and kill the innocent people in the other countries. I'm sorry. It's 18 years my son died, but it's like the same day. It's 20 years ago, the September 11, but it's the same fucking day when my life changed and the, a lot of people life changed, like military families veterans, students. Today I visit the two weeks, one week ago, one school, high school is very few students. The young, young people is about the 13, 14 years old only. He no born when the September 11 happened. And I ask, you know what's happened in September 11? You have idea why? The war in Afghanistan and war in Iraq, nobody have the answer. Some boys say, yes, because the terrorists attack the United States. We need finish with the terrorist people. And I begin explain. I try the people understand the terrorists is not finished. The enemies Mother USA is ready for attack again any moment, not only in the United States, any place on the world. But I try to explain to young boys, the weapon is not the answer. The book, education and tolerance is the answer against the any, any problem in the world. Thank you for opportunity, Amy, Frank. I'm so sorry, I know you, it's very busy, it's more than 400 people here, but I send my love and my gratitude for everybody helping these 18 years in my life. Love you. Thank you so much, Fernando, for sharing your heartbreaking story. Um, e Emily, can I say something right now? Please. Bueno, uh, mil gracias, Señor, por compartir su historia con nosotros. Uh, me da mucha, 
Mucha pena, mucha lástima me parte el corazón saber lo que usted ha sufrido. Y vamos a, a llegar a, a involucrar la juventud en, en este movimiento. I want to let people know, and excuse me, just so beautiful, um, that George Bush, who should be challenged everywhere he goes as a war criminal, will be in Los Angeles Monday, September 20th, in just a couple of weeks. There's an action plan. He's going to be speaking horrifically as an honorary speaker, distinguished speaker series right in Long Beach at the convention center. And so please look up soon in the Code Pink LA uh, website, but also right now Answer LA has an action. We will be there, um, Senor Suarez, we will be there um, in your son's name and in the name of so many people um, who uh, need to challenge this man. So um, please join us. If you're anywhere in the LA area, please join us. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, Code Pink will also be there um, in the name of Jesus and all the, the people who've lost their lives um, to this horrific war. 